Fairy blessings to you, dear soul travelers, and welcome to a Venusian Empress Oracle for your Friday reading. We're going to be getting into the wild wisdom of the Fairy Oracle for you, getting a message for this beautiful Friday. If you haven't already seen one of my readings, we do a yes or no answer to your question at the end of my readings now. So do you think of a question that you would like to ask and get an answer to? So we are going to be using the holographic tarot. Could be some indecision, imbalance around the soulmate situation going on here with that Six of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Pre-shuffle energy showing me that some truth may be coming forward about some juggling. Could be dealing with a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini as well with that King of Swords energy. We'll then clarify everything with the vice versa tarot. Now these are general readings. There are parts that will resonate and that's good. And there are parts that may not resonate and that is just something that's meant for someone else. Do leave that for someone else. And thank you so much for your likes, comments, shares, donations, as well as hitting the subscribe and bell notification. Now, as you know, at the end of all of my readings, I also like to give love messages, which we'll get from the Lover's Oracle cards, so do stick around for that. As well, I will get some messages of advice from the Horus Bay cards, so do stick around for those as well. And again, at the very end, we will have an answer to your question with my divination coin. Let's get into our reading now, shall we? If you'd like to join in the energy, I'm going to count down from three to one. You can take a deep breath in, and as I hit the bell, you're welcome to exhale when you're ready. Three, two, one. Deep breath in. Thank you to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. We honor you, Faye, for the messages this day. Beautiful. You are so wonderful, and thank you so very much for being here. I truly appreciate you. Let us get into a reading for you, shall we? Guys, I also wanted to let you know about my other channel, Happy Medium Hypnosis. Uh, feel free to check it out. We'd love to have you as a subscriber there as well. I'm going to be sharing a lot more about hypnosis over there. How you can take control, starting with your mind. It all begins in your mind and what you believe. All right, let's see what's coming out. Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. Too many cards. Give us one energy, please, that we need to be aware of for the collective, please. All right. We got the dark moon energy coming out. That energy says maturation, growing up, introspection, know thyself. Number six energy. So this is coming to a uh, coming to whatever your name is, you know, that coming to Jesus moment, but it's coming to an understanding within yourself about why things have come to the point that they have in your life. More important is how to get yourself out of this energy and take control back. Again, it all starts in your mind, right? The riddle fisher. <laughs> you may be feeling like your life is a riddle and that you can't find the answers, you know, but it says, divination, seeking out, and finding answers. Well, you're certainly going to get some of those here. And at the end, if you do have a question, we will get an answer for you with our divination coin. All right, at the top of all of this, light the darkness, ancestors, ancestral line, and generational shifts. So you are breaking some generational curses, meaning that you're you know, breaking patterns that have been a part of your generation for quite a long time, you know, and you're the one that's strong enough to heal this and teach something different, go about things in a much different way. So we're going to read the main energy of this card for you today. Dark Moon. Interestingly, 
This can be interpreted as a menopausal card for women. So if you're a woman, you could be at this age of menopause or entering it, or one of seeming bad news bringing about change as their moon times move to darkening, meaning that you're stopping your menses or you're not having it as regular. You can tell that it's changing. All right, so it is a time for understanding the frailties of the self and understanding the wisdom your years on this earth have taught you, knowing that there is nothing that can be done at this time, knowing that you need to understand where you are responsible for your current situation, which I spoke of as well. Learning and taking ownership of responsibility will create freedom and new opportunities. So you'll start to make sense of everything just by taking ownership of the way things have come to be in your life at this point, you know? So by doing that, it's kind of like when you are having an issue within yourself emotionally and just getting it out and allowing yourself to release emotions, crying and things of that nature, um, even though you may not, you know, necessarily solve that situation in the moment, it is a, a way to help you to release so that you can gain more of your strength and momentum to move forward from that situation in your life. So move through this and feel renewed, alive, and as though your own personal evolution is finally, finally underway. It will never be too late. The tests and the subsequent wisdom make this life here so worthwhile and will create your beautiful legacy for generations to come. So once again, breaking generational curses. And that's what this talked about. All right. With light, the darkness. You are the light in the darkness. You are bringing that wisdom forth, all right? As tough as it has been, this card absolutely talks about ancestors, ancestral lines, and generational, uh, generational shift. Again, you are the one that's breaking those generational curses and patterns of the way things have been in life. You're not following you're the black sheep. You're not following the same way everyone else has. And look, she's got those ram ears on her. So you could be a fire sign. You could be an Aries. You will rise up from this as the phoenix is reborn from the ashes. Just as the moon will wax and grow full once again. Have hope, but do not spend time in contemplation. This is a time to just accept things the way that they are. We all go through our phases of life. If you are in a phase where it feels like a lot of time has been wasted, even if you're not a woman going into menopause, it's not over is what Spirit is saying. So this is not a time for you to give up because you are leaving behind a different way for people to do things, especially within your own family. You do have people that are seeing you doing things a different way and being successful in spite of the challenges, in spite of, you know, the lack of support perhaps from people that you would really like to have it from. All right, so let's get into a reading for you. That was a great introduction to all of that, right? So, holographic tarot around the dark moon. Let's see what this energy is coming forth with us. Six of Wands. Even though there may be a lot of imbalance at this time, you are assured to have success coming out of this. You'll just, you know, stick to the program. Keep moving forward. Keep doing your thing, right? Keep working on your heart space with that Queen of Cups energy. Try not to get too much in your head about the situation, you know, and know that everything's working out for you. So on the bottom, Knight of Swords, yes, fast moving for sure. You are about to come out of this energy, I feel, quickly. Everything is starting to move forward for you in the right way. We got the Wheel of Fortune, 
We got moon energy though, even if things are confusing, it does still feel like things are moving more in your favor and that you are going to start to see even more growth happening in your world. You are going to gain that wisdom, that understanding that you need is what I see here. Yep, and maybe you were dealing with a pentacles individual, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy who definitely perhaps wasn't doing their part. <laughs> now wants to come back and offer some love, you know, get, wants to try to be that one who knocks you up, or maybe this is the one who knocks you up. And, you know, maybe this is something you're in mourning about. This is someone you don't want to work with, perhaps, you know. You know this isn't the type of person that you can see yourself having a family with, if you will. So right now, you may be in that hermit energy, perhaps. And wanting to put an end to this situation is really what I see. This is not a situation where things feel good that you want to work on any longer is what it feels like, you know? I feel like maybe you did feel like this was something good, but then maybe once you got pregnant, if that's the case, you found out something, like maybe this person really didn't have their stuff together the way you thought they did, or, you know, they weren't really at work when they said they were kind of thing. I don't know. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune. So this is the past energy that we're seeing the Wheel of Fortune on. So we have the Two of Wands and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So quickly you saw the path that you went down. You know, it looked like it was all good. But then all of a sudden, something was uncovered. You saw quickly that you were dealing with somebody who was very controlling. You know, they had that ability to put on a good facade, perhaps while you were dating. They were very much a gentleman type of energy. <laughs> Knight of Cups, as I say that. And Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles also came out in reverse. All right, so quickly you saw that there was something that this person was hiding. And it definitely seemed to do around money, like maybe they didn't have what they said they did kind of situation, right? Again, you may have discovered some truth. Empress energy. Knight of Wands, interesting. What's this Knight of Wands doing here? Ten of Swords energy, as well as the Seven of Wands in reverse. So someone who stopped working towards something, someone who wasn't committed. Quickly, you you know, the Empress became unhappy because she realized she wasn't dealing with, at the least, a king at all, you know? Definitely somebody who wasn't being honest. And now, wanting to get out and heal, perhaps, the situation. Seven of Swords. Justice coming out. Wow. So with the Seven of Swords, it almost feels like, you know, this person just saw you as like a trophy, as uh, something that looked really good, and maybe they really saw more, uh, you know, that they were getting a good end of the deal with this situation. King of Pentacles in reverse. That's too many cards. King of Pentacles in reverse at the center of all of this. Wow. Still got a bunch of cards out. What the heck? All right. Five of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're on your way. You're working on healing from this situation. But yeah, this is quite a devastating situation to figure out that maybe you do have a baby on the way, right? But you're not married to this person. It's probably better that you're not. Page of Cups. Yeah, because I don't feel like this person really sees your value, you know, really understands how beautiful and amazing you truly are. You know, they might have just wanted to have a baby so that they could, uh, 
you know, tag along for some of that good good that you have available. They know who you are. But, uh, you quickly found that working with this person brought you nothing but unhappiness. Maybe this person has a lot of fishes and a lot of cups, if you know what I mean. A lot of babies out there you may not even be aware of. Yeah. Definitely cause you to stress out if you knew half the stuff that was probably going on. Magician in reverse with the hermit energy. King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So definitely this person could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or uh, sorry, Cancer energy. But this person could have, you know, had went within, got some information, figured out who you were, and then worked against you, literally, just to trap you kind of situation. Death, putting an end to all this is actually going to bring you so much more happiness than sticking it out with this person, you know, work it out in court, you know, work out the details, but I think this is a situation that, you know, sharing the child, you're just going to have to do the custody thing and figure that out, but I don't think you're going to want to stick it out with this person, so maybe that's that dark moon energy and why you're why you're trying to feel better because you know if you realize that you got caught up in a situation that wasn't good for you spiny sister take pride in yourself you know honor yourself regardless of what situations may happen in your life we've all got things that uh we feel a bit shameful about right but you gotta make peace with that because again we've all made mistakes so the green man says, embrace your wildness, be who you truly are, you know, don't allow yourself to be chained down or kept in a situation that you know is not going to bring you happiness. And your last card out is to the green wood, seek comfort and acceptance, be kind to yourself, right? It's the time for you to honor yourself, not beat yourself up and get yourself going in the right direction. You know what I mean? Let's get some love messages out as advice for you moving forward. My dear soul travelers, hit the like button and subscribe and bell notifications for me if you haven't already. Love messages for the collective. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Again, if you had this kind of controlling situation you were dealing with, you quickly saw that this is definitely something that you know is not good, you know? And when people want to have control over you, there's usually some reason for it. Healing says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light and feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. You've also got a card of balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. All right, we always wanna help each other grow, but we always wanna be supportive of one another in that growth as well, right? As well as take our own responsibilities and do our own growing, our own healing within ourselves so that we can show up our best, right? Okay, guys, let's get ready to flip our coin. Did you think about your question? All right, because I'm getting ready to flip it. Hopefully we get the answer that we want, right? Are you ready? Three, two, one. You ready? What was your question? And the answer is, yay, it's yes, woo woo. Two high fives for you. You got hopefully the answer you wanted. <laughs> In any case, have a great start to your weekend. Happy Friday. I'll see you guys soon and bye for now.